Alright guys, this is a Fulton pulse boiler and uh, it's going to go through its startup sequence. You'll get to see and hear what it sounds like when this thing lights off and see what it sounds like when it's running at 100%. So it's going to go through its pre-purge for about 35 seconds. It's going to do its pre-ignition test. Next it will ignite. So now it's lit. It's going to let the flame stabilize. You can see our flame voltage right here. And now it's going to modulate down. So go around back you can see this is our modulation motor so there's a butterfly valve in the gas line and the exhaust outlet that opens and closes based on what it's the rate it's firing at you can see this motor drives both the gas and the exhaust outlet through these arms. And this is uh, what it sounds like when the thing's running. And if we go here, analog, you can see our outlet water temperature, our firing rate, and our flame signal. Now if you've never seen one of these before, um, why it's called the pulse is because the way it combusts gas, instead of having a regular open flame, it burns it in pulses, much like a World War II V1 buzz bomb did with the pulse detonation engine. So that's why it sounds the way it does. We got a couple other things unique to this type of boiler. You can see that there's flexible connections on the gas, there's flexible connections on the water. Um, it's sitting on these isolation cubes and there's mufflers in both the exhaust and the air intake so there's less noise outside of the building and being that it is a condensing boiler you have a drain and a trap that goes to a floor drain right here see a little condensation coming out right there. There's our other one over here. It's still idle. Focus. Oh, and uh, the incoming gas, they also have these special gas regulators uh, that helps with the back pressure from each time the there's a pulse. So each one of those pulses of the flame happens like hundreds of times a second. And that's where you get your heat from. So the advantage to the pulse combustion is that it's very efficient and it does not require any continuous ignition and you don't have to have a draft or induced draft or a forced draft fan running after the initial ignition takes place. So it went through its pre-purge, but now that fan won't run again until the post-purge.
and so each pulse ignition of gas and air will keep the, the cycle going until it's done running. And also back here, this is our controller for both of these guys. It's a mod sync controller. So what it does is it runs both boilers in parallel, so each one will run at the lowest firing rate possible because in a condensing boiler, the lower you modulate the input, the more efficient it is overall. So these boilers are about 95 to 98% efficient. So the lower you run them, the higher that efficiency gets. And I can show you inside of one too, give me just a second. So here's what it looks like inside of one. Inside of here is your air flapper. And then of course you got all your relays and controls, and your pressure switches. And there's your main controller right there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Also unique to the Pulse are the items you need to perform a preventative maintenance on it. So here's your igniter. It's just a regular, uh, well, it's similar to an automotive spark plug. So this will spark only during the initial light off and then after the flame is established, it will shut off. So there's that. Got some water level sensors, your flame rods, and then these are your gas flapper gaskets. And down on the bottom here are your air flapper gaskets. So those gaskets are what uh, allows the thing to pulse in and out like that. And that's how you get that pulsing action. So there's a gasket in both the air side and inside of the gas input as well. And this boiler is 750,000 BTUs maximum. All right guys, that's just a quick look at a Fulton Pulse combustion boiler. Pretty unique. Um, depending on who you ask, it'd be either fortunately or unfortunately, they're not produced anymore. They've moved on to just uh, the regular condensing boilers like the Endura, Endura XE, and the Endura Plus, I think. So they've discontinued the Pulse combustion products for now, but who knows, they may make a return at some point. Lennox also produced a combustion furnace uh, for the residential side. You may remember that, the Lennox Pulse. And then Hydrotherm also produced a pulse boiler for residential, the Hydrotherm Pulse, neither of which are manufactured anymore. This was kind of the last pulse combustion uh, boiler that was really produced more for the commercial hydronic heating side. In this case, it's for a uh, heat pump water loop, so it doesn't have to warm up the water very much. Our out, our loop set point is like 65 right now so it doesn't have to warm it up very much all right guys like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching This is also how loud it is from a distance.